and on behalf of the members, staff, and leadership of SPIE and Photonics Media, it is a real pleasure to see you all here tonight. Everyone here is driven to create and launch new products. And while in this room we certainly have competitors, it's also clear that we share a common bond of being the kind of people who work hard to create new products. And I hope you find this evening enjoyable and valuable. Tom Mater of Amazon, originally scheduled to be here, could not be here tonight because he had a family emergency and he had to leave. But as a replacement, we are lucky to have Leo Baldwin, principal engineer at Amazon Lab 126, to present the award for the category Imaging and Cameras, something he is personally quite familiar with. Leo led the team responsible for creating all the cameras for the Amazon Fire phone, including fully customized head tracking cameras. Prior to Amazon, Leo worked on utility scale, concentrated solar photovoltaic power generation, engineered nanostructures, femtosecond lasers, surface plasmons, and industrial vision systems for robot guidance and inspections. Plus, Leo has been an expert witness on the topic of beer foam. <laughs> he holds 30 US patents with 64 pending. Leo studied applied physics at the University of Waterloo, Waterloo and modern optics at the University of Rochester Institute of Optics. Please welcome Leo Baldwin. Thank you, Peter. That beer foam business was 20 years ago, but I'm still conducting research on that in an informal setting. The word camera means room. Renaissance artists used a dark room, a camera obscura, to cast an image of the scene outside onto an interior wall. In this way, they were able to faithfully record the, res the perspective, the light play, and the color of the scene outside. We have since replaced the artist and his oils with emulsions of silver salts and the silver salts with arrays of semiconductor photocells. We have shrunk those photocells so much that they now approach the size of the very photon they aim to capture or the wavelength of the incoming light, if you prefer that model. We've replaced the pinhole of that original camera obscura with a simple lens and then a compound lens. And today with compound lenses of such complexity that it can take 10 exponential terms just to describe one surface. Today we still call that device by its housing, the box that keeps the outside light out, the little room, the camera. We have gone far beyond recording images or even video. Today we seek to not only record the outside world, but to understand it. The four cameras on the Fire Phone, they track the user's head so the display, it's a regular two-day display, can synthesize a realistic 3D view based on the viewer's vantage point. The main camera with the aid of extensive software and the cloud, can recognize everyday objects and tell you about them and let you buy them. Well, maybe not the paintings in the Louvre. It can tell you about those, but you can buy other things. Cameras are parking our cars, and experimentally, they're driving them. Soon they may unlock our phones, our cars, and even our homes. Cameras see the light that we can see, and some can see heat that we can't see. Cameras are being combined with lasers to accurately create an image of distance. High-speed cameras are literally slowing down time. Let's have a look at three of the most impressive camera products of this past year. The Peregrine is ASC's lightest weight 3D flash LiDAR camera, enabling unparalleled functionality. S-Pro's Photonics introduces semiconductor image sensors. Seek Thermal transforms your smartphone or tablet into a true thermal imaging camera.
These are all winners. I'm glad I didn't have to choose. But the award goes to Seek Thermal and Raytheon. Thank you very much. Completely unexpected and uh, wonderfully deserved on the other part, <laughs> just knowing how hard our team worked on this thing. Again, this is a, a two-team uh, event. Uh, our partner, Raytheon Vision Systems, has been our technology partner for our detector, and we wouldn't be here today if we didn't depend so heavily on their technology. I uh, want to thank you on the, for it's such a wonderful award. Uh, this little device here, uh, was just in the minds of several of our founders about 18 months ago. It's now been produced and is being sold at great rate. I want to say, pass along some thanks from uh, Bill Parrish, our co-founder of our company. Bill is well known to many of you. Excuse me, didn't mean to bash that. Uh, and Bill has been the genius, the really the uh, inspiration, and the guy who's really stuck to this thing this little camera has much of Bill inside of it, so we thank Bill for his activity. Several of you know Joe Feingold. Joe has been our director of manufacturing or vice president of manufacturing, and over the past number of months has built quite a number of cameras as if they now are just small electronic assemblies. We all remember how hard it was just to place and focus a, a uh, infrared lens Joe has mastered this thing, his team has mastered this, and I must say that his entire team has now, at the point of manufacturing approximately a thousand cameras for every one of our employees at this point, just to show you how far this has gone forward. The rest of our team, our marketing, sales, the rest of the group that's up here has really turned this thing into a tremendous success as far as we're concerned. Out in the commercial world, we had always dreamed about turning thermal imaging into a commercial product, and now it's finally here. And we thank you very much, SPIE, for your recognition of this. We appreciate it very, very much. Thank you. I, I would just like to add that on behalf of the Raytheon, yes, Virginia, it is possible for defense and commercial to come together. Thank you. Photonics West this year in the International Year of Light is even more exciting than ever, I believe. There's a great spirit about it. It's very difficult really to uh, resist the excitement about the potential of this field. The, ex the potential to continue to improve our world, it has done enormous amount already. But there's much more to come. Thank you all for what you've already done. Thank you for being here. We still have a lot to do, much photonics, much fun lies ahead. Thank you and good night. <laughs>